talk about me, orchestra, Aberon Studios, producer, sound engineer, piano conductor, it's like Jurgen Katz. With Valentina, it, it is in many ways quite extraordinary that she's not more well known, um, because it's such an exceptional talent, a combination of tremendous power, absolutely free spontaneous music making with real beauty as well, and total technical ability. There are zillions of recordings of Rachmaninoff concertos, both old and new, but I think I can add something. Basically, what we did was started a big chunk towards the recording of all Rachmaninoff's concerti. We did one and two in two days. I, I see by all the hits on YouTube that she has, I would almost call it a cult following. I don't like using that word, but, um, but she deserves to be on the big stages with the greatest orchestras playing for, for the major audiences. And I really hope that we can help her achieve that goal with these recordings. It was like meeting in love from the first sight of LSO London Symphony Orchestra with Michael Francis conducting. <laughs> of us we saw each other for the first time. Orchestra had no idea what my style of playing is going to be. I had no idea how they will sound, how they will like it, because look, on the list of top orchestras in the world, this one is on the very top, and for them I'm little nothing. <laughs> I mean, they probably didn't know my name. London Symphony and I have worked together for 25 years, perhaps, but this is an orchestra that's played everything, worked with everyone, is the ultimate consummate professional body in the world for recording. They're quick, flexible, and an absolute pleasure to work with. And I must say, uh, they are the only orchestra in London that I generally hire for recordings. Valentina, she really she played maybe two wrong notes in the entire two days. I mean, she was flawless. So it meant that anything we were stopping to do was just to get the orchestra in time or musically more interesting with her. We never had to worry about the solo part. And that's a wonderful thing because it means the process is so efficient. The second movement of the second piano concerto, which she plays in a wonderfully flowing way, at an incredibly flowing tempo, possibly quicker than is normally heard. And as a result of it, it has an incredibly fresh feel, like it's a brand new piece of music. And when you have an orchestra like the London Symphony Orchestra, who are exceptionally fast and exceptionally fine musicians, who can play things, anything like that. They understand the style straight away and they go straight into the music. What was really enjoyable about this process was straight away, I was able to really understand what she wanted and the orchestra, which is even more important than whether I understand it because they're the ones who are making noise. <laughs> They're the ones who are producing the sounds that we will hear. And there was an immediate, innate understanding of what she wanted and the orchestra were able to interpret that, give something back musically and also inspire her to do different things during it as well. So it wasn't a recording, it was a, a series of performances that we managed to get on tape, which is exactly what you want in a recording session.
did you feel about playing with this orchestra? The interaction between piano and the orchestra. It was just a fantastic experience. We were having too much fun. That was the best thing about those two days. So we had 12 hours of incredible fun. Every time I would hear orchestra, two different of them, it, it would just electrify me. And it, it, this was this kind of energy going back and forth, and everybody smiling. I had a sense of great happiness. She had built up such extraordinary goodwill with the orchestra by playing so beautifully and so perfectly that they were prepared to whatever she wanted. And something happened that doesn't always happen in these you know, rather commercial recording sessions. They, that real music began to happen in a very short amount of time. It was the first time that the orchestra had heard Valentin, and they were really I mean, really impressed, and they were very enthusiastic about it. And they felt it. They felt how good she was, and therefore they actually played better as well, because they wanted to really be part of something musically. she's just happy playing. I don't think for her she's not driven by, if I'm not playing with the Concerto Bar Orchestra by next year, with so many artists who are, they're never talking about music, it's about career, agents, fees. I've never heard Valentina say one word about any of those things, it's always about music. <laughs>